What's going on guys? It's Jordan back today with another video and this is today's second video. If you haven't watched the other one, go watch it after this one. But in this video, we're going to take a look at Chainlink and see what it's doing on all the time frames, the four hour, the daily, the weekly, every single thing. We're also going to take a look at the um, Chainlink Bitcoin ratio and see what it what is it doing on that? And are we at a good reversal point? But as we jump right on into the four hour chart first, as you guys can see, we did break out of this symmetrical triangle that we've been forming uh, all the way since the uh, middle of December, right? You guys can see the support and resistances ended up converging. And on the four hour, we just got a breakout and a confirmed four hour close. Uh, three candles ago on the four hour. Now we are pulling back right now. So it is possible we come back down and retest this as support before moving up higher, right? But we did break out of that symmetrical triangle, which is what we did want to see. And I did think it was going to move up to the upside for many reasons. But are we out of the clear yet? Are we ready for chain link to move higher? Well, um, on the on the four hour, it says yes. But let's switch on over to the daily. Now on the daily chart, um, we did break out of this um, almost sort of uh, bull flag, um, if you want to call it that. Um, you guys can see we broke out of this bigger bull flag that we were in back in August to November. And then we came back down and retested it as support before moving on up. And now we're getting a uh, nice daily candle above this um, trend line here. But what we need to see is we need to see a daily close above that trend line now you guys can see all the wicks that we've had above it right and right now we're getting a massive wick as well right so are we at the point where um you know chain link uh is going to absolutely blast off well that depends on if we get a daily close above approximately about uh 12.8 uh dollars so if we can get a close uh, above 12.8 dollars I think that's going to mean that we're going to see higher price action for Chainlink. Now, if we close below that $12.8, I think we're just going to be stuck in this bull flag again. And it is possible we come back down to the downside again and uh, retest the bottom of the bull flag, right? So, right, we, we tend to break up in these in these bull flags. We did it in this one, right? And we could just be doing the same thing again. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on the daily chart here as well. And, um, you know, it, to me, it's looking bullish, but we have to wait for that daily confirmation close before we can really, you know, decide what we're going to do with Chainlink from here on out. Um, I'm going to switch on over to the Chainlink uh, Bitcoin ratio real quick here, guys. And on the Bitcoin Chainlink ratio, we're still at that crucial level, right? Um, if you guys didn't watch the last video, um, you know, Chainlink tends to... Um, you know, retest its last all-time high on the ratio. You guys can see right here, when we broke our last all-time high, we came back down and retested it before going up again, right? And what are we doing right now? Well, we're coming back down, and we're, this is our last all-time high, you guys can see, and we're coming back down to retest that, in my opinion. Now, as of right now, we are holding that level. If we zoom in here, right, we are holding that level, um, but it is possible we could break down lower. Now, do I think we're gonna do that? Well. If my technical analysis serves me right, right, which in bull markets, anything can happen. Bitcoin's crazy pumping. So, you know, this ratio could keep bleeding on chain link. But um, we are getting a little bit of bullish divergence, which I've been a big fan of the RSIs lately because they have been playing out on the ratios. Um, we're getting some bullish divergence on the ratio. You guys can see we're getting higher highs in the RSI, getting back into normal territory but we're getting lower lows in price action, which is uh, bullish divergence there, which it shows a lack of you know seller exhaustion, which could round us out here and eventually get us higher, right? Which would make perfect sense. It's what we did last time, right? We got we hit, uh, if we zoom in here, when we retested our last all-time high, right? We, we did the same thing. We hit this, right? We made, if we zoom in here, um, you can see kind of a similar thing that happened uh, last time, right? Where um, we got lower lows in price action, right? But we got, um, you know, higher highs, higher lows in the RSI, which is the same thing. We had bullish divergence in the last bull market as well. So that's huge, guys. I, I think, um, you know, based on, a, uh, you know, that factor alone, I think we, we should get a reversal here. But like I said, guys, 
Bitcoin is absolutely popping off. So it, it really doesn't matter what these altcoins do because um, Chainlink could pump 20%, but Bitcoin could uh, pump 25%. And it's, it's going to go down below the ratio. So you really have to watch what Bitcoin does and not so much what Chainlink does to see if it does, um, you know, kind of break this, uh, break this trend of, you know, ever since the last all-time high on the ratio back in August, um, we have, uh, you know, really bled down on this ratio um, majorly, right? And it was expected, right? Bitcoin, um, you started had the large institutional investors buying back in the middle of last year. So it makes sense, um, you know, why this would bleed on the ratio. I mean, we have done it in the past, so it's not out of the ordinary that, you know, we see these massive dumps on the ratio. Obviously, this one is a little bit scarier, but I, I just don't think it is the end of the world at all. Guys. But this is just a quick video on, on uh, sorry, Ethereum. Uh, this is a quick video on Chainlink today, guys. Just a quick update. Nothing crazy. Um, you know, once we get a, you know, a next breakdown on, below this support, or we see Chainlink start really making moves to the upside, it's when I do a little bit bigger of a video. But just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that guy so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you smack that subscribe button right down below um always means the world to me when you guys do that and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day so i'll see you guys tomorrow